combina- a pitcher with that combination of stuff on one night than I did with Pedro Martinez that night. I was at that game, too. And for peak value, to me, he's the greatest pitcher I've ever seen. And I think you can make the case 99-2000 are the two greatest seasons by any pitcher in the history of baseball, back-to-back, given the era in which he did it, the height of the steroid era. I can't say this enough. His ERA during those two years was 1.90, and the league ERA was 4.90. And as for the pitches, I think you can make the case that at some point in his career, he had the best fastball, curveball, and changeup at the same time. Give me another pitcher in baseball history that had the three best at any point. I say no. And there's some uh, compared to his era over his career. He's number one all time among all starting pitchers. Look, and Carl, for his wow. career, his ERA was 1.56 lower than the league average for his entire career. If you do that for one year, that's a good month. You're really doing that's a great. great month, right? He did it for his whole career, and no pitcher with 2,500 innings in their career had a lower ERA below the and league average. Ninety people didn't vote for it. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think I, well, we'll get into that part of it in just a bit. The, the part about him too, the sexy part of pitching is striking guys up. He struck guys up. But he never walked anybody he either. Walk. I mean, Randy Johnson early walked a lot yeah. of people, and nobody loves Randy Johnson more than me. Pedro struck a ball out without walking anybody. But Pedro didn't kill a bird, though. <laughs> he did not kill a bird. No, he did not. And John Smoltz.